Hey everyone, happy Friday to you all. Hope you had a great week and you're having a great day. Hey, let's just dive into our devotion today. Today we're gonna be talking about the song Grateful at Elevation. Beautiful song and the word itself just says a lot, explains a lot. So let's work, look at verse two. That's what we're gonna be reading today. When I was down, you brought me out and set my feet on higher ground. So here I stand, you are my God, your faithfulness, my solid rock. There's two phrases I love in this one. It's like, set my feet on higher ground, your faithfulness, my solid rock. And as Christians, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to plant our feet on God's word, plant our lives on God's word. The, his foundi- our foundation of our life is to be God through his word, through him. And so we build that strong foundation so we're on that solid rock. And when we, we're solid with God, we find ourselves being grateful. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. It does. Gratefulness turns what we have into enough. Like the Apostle Paul, he was content. That guy was sleeping outside in a tent. He was even chained up in prison and he was still grateful for God, for everything that he's given him. And that's the mentality and attitude that we as Christians are to have. Let's look at Colossians 2, 7. It says this, let your roots grow down into him and draw up nourishment from him. So you will grow in faith, strong and vigorous in the truth you were taught let your lives overflow with thanksgiving for all he has done. That is amazing scripture. We're to, to, to root ourselves in God's word so his word will then nourish us and help us grow. Just like when you water a plant, you put it in great soil. It's just going to grow and, and thrive. And that's how we are as Christians. When we plant and root ourselves in his word and in him, our lives are going to grow. We're going to thrive. And that's where gratitude comes from. So let's continue and let's start to cultivate thankfulness by giving thanks regularly to God every morning, every evening, every time you think about God and others, let's thank him and be grateful. R.C. Sproul said this, and this is great. God doesn't want us to just feel gratitude. He doesn't. But for us to show it by giving thanks to God with our lives. With our lives, that's gratitude. And this reminds me when I was younger and going to junior high, my dad had a decent job. We lived a couple of life. Um, until he lost his job, they let him go. So I was about to enter junior high, and you guys know junior high, man, it's a different life. It's it's a whole different realm of dynamics, and because um, we were poor, we had nothing. We had nothing. So I only had two pairs of pants and two shirts to wear for seventh and eighth grade. I got my sister's hand-me-down tennis shoes, which were for girls. They were brown, but they were for girls, and her foot was smaller than mine. So my my toes were like curled at the tip, so it was very uncomfortable. So I was miserable. I was miserable. I got picked on. I got picked on because I was a poor kid. To make things worse, all we were eat was refried beans, beans and potatoes. That's all we were eating. We didn't have much. Um, we were lucky if we had anything outside of water, you know, or milk. And that's just the way it was. But through this, even though myself and my sister, we weren't thankful, we were whining all the time and depressed. My mom was always grateful and she was always content and she did her best to teach us to be happy, to be grateful that we have food on the table. Man, she would take those beans and potatoes and turn them to something different all the time. She was amazing because she was content and grateful and she tried to teach that to us. She's all, be grateful we have food, grateful we have a roof overhead, be grateful we have clothes and shoes. And even though I didn't understand it back then, as I grew older, I learned to understand it and respect it and that helped me become a content person during difficult times, to be grateful. Um, and my mom was like that even up to her death when she was dying of cancer in the hospital. She was praising and worshiping God. Even in pain, she was worshiping God, singing hymns of praise, you know, because she was grateful for the life he gave her, and she was grateful because she knew that when her last breath would take place on earth, it would be her first breath in the presence of God. So be grateful, my friends, no matter what we're going through. Be grateful that we have technology to where we can actually connect right now. We have friends, and but most of all, let's be grateful for the God that we worship. I hope and pray that this ministered to you. I hope and pray that this touched you. And again, have a great weekend, and we'll see you guys on Sunday online. All right, God bless. Bye.